This is Asif Rahmani with SharePointELearning.com. In this presentation, I will show how to create a new SharePoint site in Windows SharePoint Services 2007. As I go along creating this site, I will also point out how different this site creation procedure is from the SharePoint 2003 version. So this is the main page of Office SharePoint Server 2007. As you can see that there is no place over here to create a new area. And the reason for that is because SharePoint 2007 does not have a concept of areas. Every single container that will contain information is called a site. Uh, one other thing to note here is that to make a new site under the SharePoint 2007 you do not need to go to the site directory and make a site from there as it was the case in SharePoint 2003. In this case you would simply go to site actions pull down this menu and then click on create site to add a new site under this site which happens to be the home site. So this is the screen that appears for site provisioning. Now one main thing to note here is that this whole page is, has to do with provisioning a new site. In SharePoint 2003, it was a three-step creation process to create a new top-level site. First you had to define the title, description, URL, and the second step you had to define how to categorize the SharePoint site under the site directory and in the third process you had to pick a template. In this case though you specify, specify the title, description, URL and other options on the same exact page. So the first thing to look at is the top three fields. I'm going to go ahead and type in some generic team site information. All these three things, the title, the description, the URL, is very similar to how it used to be in the SharePoint 2003 version. This feature here, the user permissions, was available for any subsite that was created in SharePoint 2003. However, here, in this case, even though I'm making one top level site, it is still allowing me to inherit permissions from a parent site. And in this case, the parent site happens to be the home site, which is the home page. Something else to note here is that there's a feature, a concept called navigation inheritance. Uh, WSS 2003 did not have a good navigation story, but in SharePoint 2007, it is very easy to inherit the navigation from a home site, which happens to be this right now that we see and carry this navigation down to the top level site that I'm about to create. So let me go ahead and leave it as yes. This section here is the same section that appeared used to appear in the second step of the site creation process in SharePoint 2003. And here I define exactly which categories do I want the site to appear in in the site directory. The lastly, the last section here, the most important, is where you pick the site template that you want to use. To pick a site template here it has become very easy. You can just pick which type of site you want to create, a collaboration type, a meeting type, or an enterprise type. And then there are different types of site which are provided here. Some of these sites are the same as the previous version, such as the team site, blank site, document workspace, but it, SharePoint 2007 is introducing some new site templates such as the wiki site, a blog site, a records repository, the concepts which were not available in WSS 2003. If you look in the meetings tab, these meeting templates are exactly the same as it used to be in 2003. The enter Enterprise tab is completely new and has all these sites which were not available, these site templates which were not available in 2003. Now it lets you 
make a new document center type of site, for example, which is a site to centrally manage all of your documents in an enterprise, a feature that many people have asked for in 2003. You can also have a site as a report center site. In this site, a designer could display dashboard components, graphs, and charts. Also, lastly, a search center site could be created. This site could serve as the main place for an enterprise search, to conduct an enterprise search. In future sessions, I will talk about each of these different site templates in detail. But uh, let me go ahead right now and pick the team site template and create it. And this is what we end up with. My team site 1 has appeared as a separate tab, just right side by side with other tabs which are already present. This team site has uh, inherited the navigation structure of my home site. It has given me some components out of the box, and of course I would have the option to add more components, more web parts by going to Site Actions and Create. We'll talk about the guts of a team site as to exactly what's provided in a team site and what can you do in a team site and as opposed to other sites in a future session. But in this session, mainly we showed you how to make a new site in Windows SharePoint Services 2007 and pointed out the differences between the creation process for this version and the previous version.